Yo, yeah. welcome back me familia the second tutorial of the day now this tutorial is called how to color line art slash inks I mainly call them inks I only call line art if it's a actual 2d image from an animation you know cartoon character like let's say you know spongebob or I don't know uh, the dudes from regular show whatever that's actual line art because it's just a simple line art you know there, there's no no actual textures or effects that you know inkers do but anyways I don't want to get to that now let's say you find one across the web or if it's your actual line art inks whatever you you scan it on your scanner you want to color it this is what you want to do you like make sure you have Photoshop look I, I'm not saying that this that you could only do it on Photoshop but I'm already used to Photoshop I'm pretty sure you could do it with any other software program whatever but I just know Photoshop for right now so you open it up you go to file and you go to open look for that image I have this one right here I have it ready now this was drawn by Ed Benes he's a Brazilian artist that dude is beast man when it comes to drawing women that dude is beast I really like how he draws them all freaky hoochie sexy like real badass man that's like the type of shit I like but anyways I inked it and if you want to download this image, feel free to download it. Uh, I'm always, you know, you can, you can always see my art at DeviantArt, okay? Because mainly on my Facebook page, I don't really post there because, I don't know, I prefer DeviantArt. That's like the number one place. You, you Like, if you're an artist, you, you want to be there to actually show your work out there. But anyways, the link will be in the description. Check out my DeviantArt. If you have a DeviantArt, you can watch me. And if you don't have a DeviantArt, you don't want one, it's simple. You could just easily bookmark my, you know, my gallery. And then from time to time, just check up up there and then just look if I have something new. And if you like it, you could just download it. I always leave the download option on so you could download it in high resolution. Now, anyways, let's start with the tutorial. If you saw the first video, it's the exact same method, the exact same technique, whatever that we did with that pencil artwork. But we're not going to change it blue. We're going to keep it black. Now, what you want to do, you gotta go. You gotta go to channels. And for those of you that are new, that you know, pass by, and then, you know, you found this video interesting. I pretty much explained everything on, on the first video, but I'm explaining it like again. But yeah, let's okay. Just go to channels, and then sometimes when you, like I said, you find a an image on the web, you might not see it in RGB. You might see it on grayscale. So you might see it like this. <clears throat> So let's say when you go to channels, you, you only see gray, but you don't see no RGB. And you're tripping out. You're like, damn, how come I don't see no RGB? Anyways, if you see that, it's simple. Easy, problem solved. You go to image. You go to mode. And you go to RGB color. There you go. They're the layers. Now, what you want to do first, this is the first step. Click and hold and drag it to the new layer to duplicate that layer. So now you have a blue copy. That's the first step, okay? Second step, just click on the RGB. It's going to select the original layers, but the blue copy layer is deselected, which is good, okay? So make sure you have the original layer selected. What you want to do right now is you want to fill every single layer right here in white. Since all four of these are selected, they're both going to, I mean, they're both, all four layers are going to be, they're going to, they're going to be filled up in white instantly okay so you just go to edit fill make sure it's on white all right it might be in black 50% gray but keep it in white mode uh, uh, normal and then opacity 100% okay <clears throat> now uh, this is the, the third step click on the blue copy layer now it's gonna deselect the original layers they're already deselected don't worry about that now what you want to do is if you have a Mac you're gonna hold the command key if you have a PC you're gonna have to hold the control key now take a good look at the little hand once I hold the control key you're gonna see a little square pop out when the little square pops out just click and that's it do not click and hold just click it once and that's it okay and now you're gonna see the image selected what it's selecting right now it's only selecting the white it's not selecting the black. What you want to do now is you want to go to select and you got to go to inverse. Click that. 
<clears throat> once you have that boom it's only selecting the pure black so first it was selecting the white now it's selecting the black so what you want to do right now since third step is finally over the last step the the last step is just you know putting the black so when you make a new layer you're just gonna see nothing but the little you know the, the selection so just get the paint bucket tool make sure it's on black all right make sure it's on black or you could just press okay let's say if you have a color purple right and then the other like let's say the, the white is not even white let's say it's red so let's say if you have a red and purple it could be any like let's say these two these two colors are already um selected by by different colors you know that your foreground and your background here's an easy 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 tip to make them uh, black and white the original how it was just click on this layer I mean this little option right here see now it's back in black and white or you could do this let's say you know it's okay let me, let me put them back in different colors okay let's say let's say these two colors are selected but you want you want them you know black and white here's a shortcut Go to your um just press D, you know, go to your keys and then just press the D key. See? It's already selected in black and white. So there you go. It does just like a quick shortcut and then just with the paint bucket tool, make sure it's on the on the new layer. Just paint in black. There you go, it's done. Control D to deselect or go to select and you know deselect. <clears throat> there you go, you're done. So let's say you want to start uh coloring it. What I like to do is just I like to name my layers. So you know the first layer is gonna be obviously inks. And every time you have your inks, you always want to lock it, okay? Because you know shit happens. You might color on top of the black by mistake. But since this is digital, you can easily undo it. No biggie. So you just lock it and always this is the important one, right? This is the important like the important right now, like when it comes to coloring a <clears throat> a actual line art or ink. Your ink or your line art has to be on the top, okay? The the layer, the layer that layer has to be always on top. When you want to color it, all your layers are gonna be on the bottom. They're gonna be like that, okay? All your layer, your layers from you know from your actual color flats. Cause what I do when I when I'm about to color, so let's say if I'm if I want to color Spider Man, I'll just get the simple red. Let's say if the layer was on top of the ink you'll see this let me get the brush tool and you know I'm gonna start painting red. you'll be like what the hell how come it's painting on top of the ink was well, because you don't have your actual ink or line art on top so always have it on top just click and drag and hold it up and let it go and there you go see now you actually see the uh, the red on the bottom of the black <clears throat> or the black on top of the red whatever so like what I like to do is just I like to you know like I said name my layers this is gonna be red so this is basically my color flats what color flat is is basically a mid tone of a color and you're just you know you're just painting it and then once you're done you go to another color like let's say I'm gonna name this one skin and I'm just gonna select a random color right now and I'm just gonna start coloring the the skin tone for you know black cat. <clears throat> and then from right there, you know, you keep going and keep going. You start adding, you know, stuff out. And then once you're done adding your flats, then is when you, the the fun begins. You start actually doing the lighting, the rendering. But yeah, that's it. That's just the second tutorial, quick tutorial of the day. If you have, I don't know, some suggestions of you know what other tutorial I should make, let me know. Just write it down in the comments. My Facebook page is on video description. My Devin Art page is in the video description. Uh, videos, yeah, video description. And I, I thought I was, I, I thought I was about to say video response for a second. I thought I said video response. <laughs> but anyways, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, hopefully, I didn't explain everything too quick because usually I'm that type of person that you know I'm kind of impatient. I like to you know get it out there real quick. But anyways, hopefully y'all enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully it helped you out in some way. But thank you for watching. I los watch